He played with the Dubliners for 50 years. Famously founded in O'Donoghue's pub in 1962, the group went on to global success. When they made Barney, they threw away the mould. He was a, a one-off, just a wonderful character, a great company, an amazing musician, and had a great imagination and a great, great way of looking at life. One of my favourite songs of him singing was, I'm a man you don't meet every day. And that was true, but I am thrilled to say that I met him and we were friends. Barney McKenna was born in Donny Carney in Dublin in 1939. He set up the Dubliners with Ronnie Drew, Kieran Burke and Luke Kelly. The name in the beginning was the Ronnie Drew Group. And uh, a fellow said to me, why don't you call it the Barney McKenna Group? And I said, that would be a good idea. <laughs> He could play several instruments, but was most famous for his banjo playing. From a banjo player's point of view, certainly will be remembered as probably the greatest of all, simply because he was the single most influential tenor banjo player that ever played. Early this year, the Dubliners played two concerts in Christchurch Cathedral to mark their half century. His friend, musician Michael Howard, was with him this morning when he suddenly became ill. He was full of the joys of life. Uh, certainly. Prior to what happened, there was no indication whatsoever of his impending mortality, shall we say. And uh, having chatted away for about 10 minutes, um, his head slumped down onto his chest. He last played yesterday at the funeral of his friend Dara O'Brien. He is survived by his partner Tina, along with his brother Sean Ogue and his sister Marie. His wife Yoka predeceased him.